Okay. I think I might have seen what happened. <laughs> I think I might have known what happened. Um, I get a VPN. Um, just spoilers. I have a VPN. I think the VPN might have been on, and I think that's what it might have been fucking up my shit. Uh, often. Because when I went to do the internet speed test, it sat me in Dallas. So I was like, wait, why am I in Dallas? And I'm like, oh... I think I might know why. <laughs> I think I might know why internet connection has been sketched. It's because I've been spending the last couple of days going through a VPN. And generally, I can't... Okay, generally Facebook will warn me if I'm... Um, Alright, see ya, Jack. I think I'll be good now. Um, but generally Facebook will warn me if I'm somewhere that I'm... Um, uh, if I'm if I'm somewhere that I'm not usually at, and I think that's what the I think that's what the issue might have been. This is probably gonna fuck things up real quick, but let me check. It's not the greatest while I'm streaming, but I assumed as much. Yeah, I'll accept that number. That that may have been what it was. <laughs> That may have been what it was, is my, uh, my VPN, uh, because I don't seem to be having any problems anymore now that I know for a fact that it's off. <laughs> I don't ever go on Facebook on my computer, so usually something like Facebook would tell me if, if I was logging in somewhere I shouldn't be logging in from. So that was probably it. Because Twitter don't give a shit. YouTube don't give a shit. Hitbox obviously don't give a shit. That's probably what it is. Because so I'm sitting there going, Oh my god, my internet connection sucks and blah 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 blah. I'm thinking, oh, it's probably the VPN. That's probably what it was. So I think I'm good now. I will, I will turn Spotify... Oh, great. Yeah, there was a Spotify... Uh, update great so I'll let it do its thing so yeah I think that was the issue here was was that and I think we're good now I don't remember where I was at I'll just keep playing Oops. private session yeah seems to be fine <laughs> Hey, Turk. Yeah, I was having a lot of problems uh, connecting. I was having a lot of connection issues, and it's like, man, it always happens at the same time. What the fuck? Could... And then I realized it's probably my VPN was uh, completely just completely screwing up on me. So uh, I should be good now because I haven't had problems now, and I don't usually have problems when I know it's off. So, all right, let's finish this up. <laughs> And then if, maybe if I feel like it, I might play something else. I, because because of the sketchy ass internet, I was never able to actually like put on YouTube my survival runs for uh, Fighting Climax. So maybe I'll do something like that. Maybe I'll finish up NXT and then uh, do some Fighting Climax. Because I'd like to try. I'd like to try doing that again. Okay. Um, shit, Kevin Owens for a second. Okay. Climax is good. I don't know if you mean <laughs> the game itself or just climaxing in general. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to play online. Like, I can play online if I want to, but I can't play, wait to play online with, like, English-speaking people with decent, like, uh, 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 people I can get good internet connections with because I'm in the same country as them once this thing actually comes out in America in, like, July. Not to mention it'll be people who might relatively be new at the game, so I might be able to beat them. Because I know if I probably get on the Japanese servers, I'm just going to get my ass handed to me. Alright, so Kevin Owens, Zack Ryder... 
Now that I think about it, I don't think my mouse was ever on the cursor, but okay. Now that I've figured everything out, <laughs> people on YouTube are probably confused as fuck, but yeah, I was having a lot of internet issues. I should be good now. Um, yeah, let's see. What the fuck was I going to do now? Shit. So storylines. Curtis Axel's redemption. Can I do? Okay, Curtis Axel's supposed to face Sexy Virginia next week. I might actually do something like that along those lines. Is have. Um. Let me see. What is it? There we go. Ric Flair, Curtis Axel, once again. script off old man flair which is probably not a good idea I don't get why my show gets such low ratings <laughs> hey I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get some shit going here you know what to be honest I don't even care what the ratings say anymore <laughs> to proceed to book Ric Flair with Curtis Axel shut up it's a good idea dude Ric Flair and fucking Mr. Perfect were gold with each other now it's Ric Flair kind of doing the bit with Curtis Axel come on it's called history, man. Flair and Perfect. Perfect was the manager for Flair. Now Flair gets to kind of pay it forward by being the manager for Curtis Axel. It's like the. It's like uh. It, it all. It's all coming around, is what it is. So shut up. <laughs> because the game told. I know the game doesn't respect history at all, but. I think I'm not even hardly looking at the grades at this point. I'm just booking for like what I like what I think would be kind of fun and cool. And if the grades don't agree, then all right, I'll throw some extra shit in there to make it work. <laughs> I realize I'm probably just going to get B's and C's maybe. I don't think I'm ever going to get like great grades. I I've I've realized that that in this game if I booked the way it would be kind of fun to see things booked. It would tank. I mean, can you fail? Yeah, I don't know if I run out of money, but I don't think I'm going to run out of money anytime soon. I am the owner. Like, if I was just Booker, like, Vince could fire me, but I'm the owner and I got rid of Vince, so... The only reason I would fail is if I, like, go broke. But I made profit last month. I bet you I could probably make profit again this month. I, I, I unloaded some pretty big contracts, too, like Big Show and Mysterio and all that shit. I mean, sure, I added some, but a lot of those were paper appearance deals. Um, allow me to see what I did last time here. Briscoes. Briscoes probably need to do something. What do I have them set? Boy, I don't really have a set opponent for them. <laughs> um, did I do some sort of match for the people who face the Briscoes? Who did the Briscoes beat last week? Hideo, Tommy, and Finn Balor. I get something interesting. I'm, I'm kind of... A, trying to play the game, and B, trying to book shit that would be kind of cool. 
where it's like, eh, this would be fun. By the way, I am online, right? Um, my hitbox dashboard is telling me I'm not. I may just uh, go ahead and back out of this and put this in. The fact that you're talking to me means that I am online. My hitbox dashboard was not telling me that. <laughs> my hitbox dashboard was like, by the way, you're offline. And it's like, no, no, I'm, I'm talking to people. I don't. I can't possibly be offline if I'm talking to people. Ugh, go away. Okay. <laughs> Hitbox is still telling me I'm offline. <laughs> it is. I am, a, I am a little worried though because if Hitbox says I'm offline then it might not be recording this. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I just hate you. <laughs> sometimes hitbox you just get on my goddamn nerves. I did just refresh the dashboard. I just brought the dashboard back up and it still said I was offline. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just gonna keep going. It should be recording. If it doesn't, I'm going to be pissed. Um, okay. Sorry. I'm trying to... Okay, history, NXT... What else is there still left to do? Alright, Cassius Ono. Cassius Ono doing his deal. Hogan. Cassius Ono's been brought in. I do remember that now. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we just give him a little bit of promo time here. Just a quick promo. He should be able to... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it on a script. Just two minutes. Who should Ono face? Fuck, let's see. Maybe Atami? Hideo Atami would probably be pretty cool. Cassius <laughs> Ono, Hideo Atami. I think a Tommy should probably win that though. We're gonna keep Ono oh strong though. Open match. Work the crowd. Um Maybe a distraction by, not by Paige, Paul Heyman. Since he's the manager. I was going to have Finn Balor, but eh, let's just... <laughs> Here we go. Trying to think what I would. I got it. I got this now.
Uh, the greatness of Heyman Inc., of course, the future of professional wrestling is under his wing. Next thing you know, reach for the sky, boy. Of course, Jim Cornette would come out with them. We'll just keep the we'll keep the uh, Briscoes away from them for this, just to keep Cornette up there. Actually, this is how I'm going to do this. First off, let's take the script off Heyman because it's Heyman. Next, we'll do. Can we do six? Hmm. We'll do that. Paul Heyman, Jim Cornette. Uh, Jay Briscoe, Mark Briscoe. Hideo Itami, Finn Balor. Oh, what do you got? Ah, uh, you put in that picture. Yes, I know. Alright, Jim Cornette and the Briscoes. Challenge Heyman. Challenge... Hang on. Valor at Royal Rumble. Here we go. Heyman accepts, and that one's how, that's how it's gonna go. Take both scripts off. There we go. Jim Cornette and the Briscoes challenge Tommy and Balor at the Royal Rumble. Heyman accepts. So that will lead to the Briscoes versus Ita Hideo Itami and Finn Balor for the NXT Tag Titles. Um, I do have one little bit here. Neither one of these should probably go off uh, go off script. There we go. We'll push that one back here. So now we have our NXT Women's Championship match set up here. Mata. I have Balor and Ono set up for the Rumble as well. I don't know if I want to keep doing that. And then the Usos are supposed to face the Young Bucks. No, Briscoes are facing Balor and Atami. So Ono should probably face who's from Heyman Inc. that he could probably face. Who's Who's in Heyman Inc.? I forgot about Glory X Stardom. <laughs> I forgot about that that we made that we made that tag that we, we, we made that bit there. Glory X Stardom. Neville. Neville versus Ono would be pretty cool. Should that be for the title? I don't know. I'll pencil it in. I'll pencil in ne Neville versus Ono for the Royal Rumble pre-show.
Cool, cool, cool. Now oh, you added a, yet another frame of. Wait, is that Zane and who was that? So it's what Breeze and Sasha Banks. I'm gonna have to assume it's. It, it, I don't want to assume it's Becky because. I assume it is just because of you posting it. <laughs> All right. Zane and Bailey. That's what I thought it was. I assumed it was probably Bailey. It's like that's the one that would make sense. By the way, how amazing, how over of a team would that be for a fate, like the most wholesome tag team, like there you go, there's your there's your intergender tag team, world's most wholesome tag team. I know Becky's a heel, I don't know if they're doing some weird shit in NXT, who knows. Testing the waters or some shit. Alright, so we're at 86 minutes. We still have at least one more match plugged in. Um, so I'm kind of figuring... Alright, storyline-wise, where are we at? We got the women's title. We did all the takeover stuff, basically. Uh, Curtis Axel's Redemption. That'd be kind of... Well, we already kind of did the Curtis Axel's Redemption deal. Stone Cold Jack Swagger. I'm kind of not... I'm kind of trying to keep Swagger off TV, though. Oh, I've got an idea. All right. So we're going to have Triple H come out. Just something along those lines. It's not like I had to shorthand it, but it's basically Triple H coming out saying, you know what, eventually, yeah, this is the future, and the future of the WWE is here, and one day these wrestlers, these great wrestlers, will end up in the Royal Rumble. And basically, does this whole bit about the Rumble, and probably throws in Lesnar as well. I'm really thinking if I should put Lesnar in, in some bit right here. Alright, who's Liger? Liger's facing Gabriel, so... Ah. Could, it, that would be amazing to have Brock Lesnar show up in, on NXT. Hmm. I'm trying to think about how I want to spin this. Oh my god. Okay, I'm trying to think here. Okay, out of the NXT people right now. I'm trying to think who would be... Who isn't booked on the NXT brand? that could potentially be in the Royal Rumble and we can maybe have some sort of miniature, some sort of match for a spot in the Rumble. Let's filter this out real quick. Mail. Not SmackDown. NXT brand. 
Styles, Colin Cassidy, Corey Graves, Enzo. You can put fucking Enzo in there. <laughs> Robert Evans, Solomon Crow, Spud. Oh my god, so many great people that we could be putting in here. I don't know if, should I make this? AJ Styles big deal. I could have Uha Nation. I'm trying to think here. Sammy, to be honest, no one can sell like him. Or uh, who I'd even want less in her face except Sammy, yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. How many matches has Robert Evans had, by the way? Well, those are both in ROH. <laughs> he said one NXT match. That was almost two months. That was two months, or no, just over a month ago. And he lost Derek Bateman. Hmm. I'm, I'm trying to think real quick. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want AJ Styles to be in this or not. Or if any of these guys should be getting a spot in the Rumble. Enzo would be kind of funny, though. Could he play a heel? He's average. He should be a heel. I mean, even back in November, he was a clear-cut face, even if he, his Guido thing was a heel. Like, he could be entertained. He's obviously a face. Like <sighs> Enzo Amore wouldn't be too bad, though. Fatal four way. That that might be a four way singles match. Let's see. Faces. <laughs> so what, we could put Tommy Dreamer. I'm trying to think. Cause I think I'll probably put Enzo in the rumble. <laughs> Maybe Hulk. Didn't he wrestle in NXT? Didn't I put him in a match in NXT? NXT, and then... The only guy that makes sense for a Rumble is Baron Corbin. I don't even have Baron Corbin on the main roster. Tommy Dreamer, BB Hulk. Wow, what a great... What a great spot for one of these guys. Uh, Daniels? I just totally forgot about Daniels. He's had a couple of matches on, uh... I'm gonna do that. Daniels and then Enzo. Should Daniels be the one to end up in the Rumble? I think Daniels should end up in the Rumble. I'm gonna do that. Just three dudes that aren't gonna do a whole lot. <laughs> Enzo, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Enzo's pretty low rated in this. Who knows? We'll have to see his mic skills. But Christopher Daniels will win a match to, to end up in. Win, win a fatal four-way match to end to get a Raw Rumble spot. All right. Um, last but not least is that. 
can he talk? He can. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I'm just sitting here thinking how I wanna how I wanna book these last two probably these last two bits. Um, Cause it's gotta end we'll just book the match real quick and we'll figure out what we wanna book on either side of it. And that's Jushin Thunder Liger and Justin Gabriel. Nine minutes. Jushin Thunder Liger will get the win. Keep him strong. Open match. All out match with from a 50 year old guy is probably not the greatest idea, but. <laughs> Let's see his match history. He did just. He did just wrestle. Well, no, yeah, he did just wrestle against Okada. <laughs> this is gonna be his lowest-rated match, by the way. You're about to you're about to see his one and only match against a against someone that's gonna end up getting like a C. His lowest is a B minus. I don't even remember who that was against. The uh, uh, Yuji Nagata. You know, one against Negro Casas and Aguila and CMLL. And that's CMLL. Mr. Aguila. Liger Shocker in Atlanta. So, yeah, just fucking. He still doesn't get below C's. Get ready for him to end up below a C. We'll have we'll have Justin Gabriel there to have someone work off him. Who would be great to work off him? I think William Regal is the um, I think Regal's the NXT GM. I think that I, I canonize that. What was it, Michaels? I think it was Shawn Michaels actually that I had canonized as the NXT guy. <laughs> we might keep that. <laughs> Hopefully this will do decent. We'll check it. Sami Zayn talking didn't do great. <laughs> Ricochet, Alex Shelley actually did pretty good. Alex Shelley is not a degenerate, obviously. Jim Cornette, of course, did very well. Amada Sasha Banks did eh. Sasha Banks and me did pretty well, actually. Well, ja Layla did some good work at ringside. Oh, yeah, Layla's... Sasha Banks is, uh... Yeah. Jim Ross and JBL work extremely well together. That's very good. They're gonna start working together better. Can you imagine... Can you imagine how... <laughs> like, I'm sure there are people who would love that to happen. Jim Ross and JBL at the commentary table. I'm sure there'd be a lot of people kind of pissy about it because it sounds way too southern. Like you got Jim Ross and John Bradshaw Layfield. Ugh, these E's, man. Pre-booking. Rumble. Book a match. Why is that post? Oh, Neville's Red Arrow. Um, 
Ayaka Hamada versus Sasha Banks. NXT Women's Championship. All right. Let's see that. Paul Heyman cutting himself a promo. Owens versus Ryder didn't do great. Curtis Axel did not come out looking good, but still a C plus. Not bad. For a Curtis Axel spot. Non existent crowd heat. Ono versus Itami. Paul Heyman once again hyping himself up. And again, there's probably going to tell me it's too much Paul Heyman. We'll check it. This is, I believe, the booking of Briscoe's versus Itami Balor. So we'll do that. Mark and Jay Briscoe versus Hideo Itami and Finn Balor. Here we go. Looked for Royal Rumble. Cool. Triple H promo. That D-plus bit. Christopher Daniels look good out there. All right. Daniels defeated Enzo Mori by pinfall with an angel's wings. Of course he pinned Enzo. Gabriel Michaels won. The hints at Shawn Michaels' heel turn completely bombed with the crowd, who remember his very recent turn. I don't remember booking him as a... Eh, I don't even remember what I was thinking when I decided to try to turn him heel. Handled the turn. Yeah, no, let's keep him face. I can't remember why I was trying to make him a heel, but... We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just keep him a face. There you go. Worst Jushin Liger match... Right there. Congratulations, we suck. <laughs> oh god, was that the face of the oh god. Why did someone take a picture of that? C. You know what? It's not bad for NXT. A C. Let's see what we got. WWE fall to oh my god. Well, I'm certainly gonna cheat because I don't think we should be a cult. <laughs> I don't think we should be cult sized. Oh my god. I need to figure this out. <laughs> I'm glad certain people aren't here to... Well, you're here to laugh at me, David. I'm sure Jack would be like, Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> um... Is there another... Oh my god, I could book... I could get Buff Bagwell if I wanted. I'm not going to. I just find it funny that I could book Buff Bagwell if I wanted. Bolnikano's not in this. Is there like a real name or something she's under? Is that... Is that the deal? Yeah, she's not there either. What the... Why is Bolnakano not here? I thought she's still kind of involved in wrestling, isn't she? Or am I fucking retarded? 
I was almost positive. She's still... Do you have Kenny Omega? Yeah. I, d I don't personally have Kenny Omega, because... Um, first of all, who the fuck is this dude? Interesting looking dude. Um, Kenny Omega's written, got a written deal from New Japan, so I'm going to have to trade for him if I want him. Which I may do before the Rumble. I may have to talk to New Japan. Be like, yo, let's, uh, let's do a little talent trade in here. Kong is. Eh. Roger Kong is there. That wouldn't be too bad, but. Uh. Oh, I don't think she can go outside of Japan. Oh, it works in USA and Japan. She has no popularity. I mean. Uh. Damn. Oh, I stumbled across ACH. <laughs> Trying to look for something else. Okay, they fucking have Air Paris, who hasn't had anything to do with fucking anything close to good professional wrestling. Like, anything close to known professional wrestling since 2001. But fucking Bull Nakano isn't on here. What the fuck? Bull's been retired? But you you feel like you can still use her. Like, doesn't she still sort of at least, like, do, like, stuff? Like, even if it's not wrestling, I feel like you should be able to... I mean, fine, it's a, it's a big fine whatever, but... <laughs> fuck. I don't know. Whatever. I'll just I'll just let it go. Well Jack's still here. Or he's back. Or my thing just hasn't caught up. By the way, I don't know why I was surprised, but Bulnakano is actually very good looking when she doesn't have her hair up and all the makeup and all that horse shit. Alright, it says Jack's still here, but yeah. Um, alright, well, last time she did stuff was in 2012. Like, I thought she, like, I, I didn't know if she was still at least, like, semi-involved in any sort of professional wrestling deal, like she would make appearances or something. I mean, once again, I feel like I can revert over to Air Paris, who, like, like, once WCW closed, has anyone heard him doing anything? No. Why is he still in this game? Why can I still get Air Paris, but I can't use Bull Nakano for anything? <sighs> maybe, maybe one of the other New Japan... No, okay, New Japan doesn't have women, as far as I remember. Does All Japan have... K Star. Will all Japan have women, like legendary ones? Maybe I won't even worry about it. Maybe I'll just keep up with what I got as far as um people are concerned. I think I think the three the three women I have now are probably good enough. I felt like I needed probably at least one more like legendary women's wrestler, but if I can't get like, Aja Kong would be... I don't know. Like, she can't really even talk or anything. Like, I'm sure fucking Bolnikano couldn't talk, but... She probably doesn't even speak English. She speaks fluent English. I'll have to think about it. But, yeah. Um, I think I'll call it there. That'll that'll give me my my next stream being the Royal Rumble where I will book that. I just don't feel like booking another. I don't feel like booking a, a Akira. 
Kuto. Uh, uh, she's written by All Japan. Uh, I didn't see, but she's not active in America. God damn it. <sighs> Motherfucker. Well, I guess not. <laughs> Wait, is that Manu now? What the fuck? God damn, he really got the fucking Samoan look now. He seems to have gotten even fatter. That's it. Manu is going to lead them. <laughs> Manu is going to lead the Joshi women. That's how this is going to work. Um. Yeah, I guess I guess that'll I guess that'll be it. If I think of any more. That would be, like, an obvious, like, aha! But, like, if it's not Bull Nakano, it's like, eh, well, I guess. Oh, well. <laughs> um, well, either way, um, now that I realize my problem with, with my internet connection and I did something about that, uh, my next stream can start immediately with the Royal Rumble. Because I don't feel like it's it's almost 6 a.m. for me, and I don't feel like booking a a Royal Rumble at 6 a.m. Because I'm gonna be stupid about it, even though I've already got everything outlined for how the match should go, like how everything should go. I'm just not gonna deal with it right now. So <laughs> go on, do it. I'm I've been doing this for almost four hours now. <laughs> I'm I'm good. I, I gotta I gotta get off this and then compile my shit into like what all um, the mess of videos that I know I have waiting for me as soon as I log out of here or yeah get out of here and go into my video manager. But yeah, thank you guys for coming out and of course thank you to the people who watch this on YouTube. Um, I'll try to do a stream very soon again of TEW. I know I'm so far back on a point that I'm never going to catch up to WWE at this point. So I'm just going to go on my own pace, because fuck it, why not? Uh, so yeah, I will be booking the Royal Rumble next time. Alright, see you guys later.